Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this video, we will learn about the finite state machine. So in this video, we will understand that what is FSM or the finite state machine and then we will see that what is Milli and the Moore machines. And then after, we will also see that how to represent the FSM using the state transition diagram and the state table. So first of all, let us understand what is FSM. So this FSM or the finite state machine is a model to represent the sequential circuits in an abstract way. So in the earlier videos, we have already seen the combinational and the sequential circuits. So we have seen that in the combinational circuits, the output only depends on the present inputs to the circuit. While in case of the sequential circuits, the output not only depends on the present inputs, but it also depends on the present state of the memory elements. So these memory elements is essentially a group of flip-flops. That means in the sequential circuits, the output depends on the present states of the flip-flop as well as the present inputs to the circuit. So in the conventional circuit, if you see, then for a given set of inputs, every time we used to get the same output. But in the sequential circuits, for a given set of inputs, we may not get the same output. Because in the sequential circuits, the output also depends on the present state of the memory elements. So all the synchronous sequential circuits are known as the finite state machine. Or in other words, this finite state machine is an abstract model for describing the sequential circuits. So all the synchronous sequential circuits which we have discussed earlier like the synchronous counters or the registers are the example of the FSM. And the reason it is known as the finite state machine because it has finite number of internal states. So each FSM has a set of inputs and outputs and a finite set of internal states. Now in this finite state machine, depending on how the output is generated, we have a two FSM models. That is Milli machine and the Moore machine. So in the Milli machine, the output is a function of the present inputs as well as the present state of the internal memory elements. So as you can see, in the Milli machine, first this conventional block generates the input for the memory element. And according to those inputs, at the next clock age, the state of the memory element will change. So basically, this conventional logic will decide the next state of the memory element. So as you can see, the input to this conventional block is the external inputs as well as the present state of the memory element. And the present output of this memory element is going to the output conventional circuit. So this output conventional block will generate the output of the overall circuit. Now in case of the milli type finite state machines, the present external inputs will also be the inputs to this output conventional block. So if we see the overall output of the milli machine, then it is the function of the present state of the memory element as well as the present inputs to the circuit. On the other end, in the Moore machine, the only difference is that these external inputs are not connected to this output block. That means in the Moore type finite state machine, the output is the function of only the present states of the memory element. So if you see this sequential circuit, then it is the example of the Moore machine. Because in this case, if you see, then this output A and B depends on the output of these two flip-flops. So if you see over here, then this logic gates generates the input for these two flip-flops. So basically, it is a next state combinational block. So here, based on this input X, this logic gates will generate the two inputs for these D flip-flops. And based on these two inputs, the next state of the flip-flops will get decided. And the output of these two flip-flops represents the present state of the memory element. So as you can see over here, the output of these two flip-flops is going back to the logic circuit. That means the input to this conventional block is the external input X as well as the present state of the memory element. And in this case, we do not have any output conventional block. That means here, the output of these two flip-flops represents the output of the circuit. But typically, we can also have the conventional logic at the output side which will generate the final output. So for example, in this case, we have this AND gate at the output side. And as you can see, the output of these two flip-flops are connected to this AND gate. That means here, the output of this AND gate will represent the output of the overall circuit. So in this case, as you can see, the output of the circuit depends only on the present state of the flip-flops. And that is why this circuit is an example of the Moore machine. 
on the other end in the milli machines the external inputs are also connected to the conventional logic at the output side so for example this sequential circuit is an example of the milli machine so this circuit is similar to the earlier circuit but here this or gate is connected at the output side so as you can see this input x is one of the input to the or gate but the second input is the output of this and gate so in this circuit this output y depends on the present input x as well as the present states of the flip flop so in short depending on how the output is generated for the circuit we have two fsm models that is milli machine and the more machine but irrespective of the type of the fsm the behavior of the machine can be represented in the three different ways the first one is the state transition diagram so this state transition diagram is a pictorial way of representing the behavior of the fsm the second one is the state table so this state table represents the same information in a tabular form and the third one is the state equations which is the algebraic way of representing the same information so using any one of the three methods we can describe the behavior of the fsm so in the earlier videos of the flip flop and the counters we have already discussed about the state table and the state equations but we haven't talked much about the state diagram so in this video let us understand it in the detail so like i said the state diagram is a pictorial way of representing the behavior of any finite state machine or the sequential circuit so in the state diagram the every possible state is represented as a circle for example in the given state diagram we have total four possible states so all the states are represented in the circle and to differentiate all the different states each state is assigned a specific value so in this case as you can see the each state is represented with the different character but typically the each state is assigned the binary value so as you can see over here since we have a four states so each state is represented with the two bit numbers that means in the state diagram the every possible output state is represented as a circle and in this state diagram the transition from the one state to the other state is represented by the arrow so here this arrows represents the transition from the one state to the other state and the binary value on top of this arrows represents the input value which will lead to this state transition for example if the current state of the circuit is 0 0 and when we apply the one as an input then the state of the circuit will change from the 0 0 to 0 1 but in the same state suppose we apply the zero as an input then the circuit will remain in the same state so in this way the binary value on the top of this arrows represents the input which will lead to this state transition and the value next to the input represents the output of the circuit corresponding to the specific input so for example if the circuit is in a 0 0 state and if we apply the one as an input then as you can see the output of the circuit will become zero and it will go into the 0 1 state so that is how the state diagram represents the behavior of the finite state machine or any sequential circuit in a pictorial way so from the state diagram we can get to know the number of inputs and outputs as well as the number of states of the finite state machine and it also shows that how the change in the input leads to the state transition and the change in the output so this state diagram is a diagram of the milli machine because like i said in the milli machines the output is a function of both present states and the input and that is why over here this outputs in a green color are represented just beside the inputs but in the more machines the output is a function of only the present state of the memory elements and that is why in the state diagram of the more machines the output is represented in the circle itself for example in this case this binary value in the brown color inside each circle represents the output of the circuit corresponding to the specific state so that is the basic difference in the state diagram of the milli machine and the more machine and from the state diagram we can easily draw the state table so the state table represents the same information in a tabular form for example this is the state table corresponding to the given state diagram so as you know the state table consists of the inputs and outputs of the circuit as well as the present state and the next state of the sequential circuit so if you see the state diagram then here we have one input and the one output so let's say the variable for the input is equal to x while the variable for the output is equal to y and if you see over here 
then we have total four states so these four states can be represented with the help of the two bits let's say that is equal to q1 q0 so here depending on the input and the present state we will get the corresponding next state and the output so here for the three variables x q1 and q0 we have total eight different possibilities so here the eight different possibilities are written and then from the state diagram we can easily find the next state and the output for example if the circuit is in the 00, zero state and if the current input is equal to 0 then the circuit will remain in the same state that means in that case the next state will be equal to 00, zero. and as you can see from the state diagram in the 00, zero state the output is equal to 1 that means in this case is y is equal to 1 similarly in the same state if the input is equal to 1 then the next state will be equal to 0 1 so in this column we will write 0 1 and whenever the output state is equal to 0 1 then as you can see the corresponding output is equal to 1 that means here we will write 1 and likewise we can complete the entire table so in this way from the state diagram we can easily draw the state table so here this state diagram was for the Moore machine but similarly we can also draw the state table for the milli machine so here as you can see this is the state diagram of the milli machine and in a similar fashion we can also draw a state table for this given diagram so once again if you see then here we have a one input and the one output let's say the input is equal to x while the output is equal to y and as you can see from the diagram once again we have a four states that means these four states can be represented with the help of the two bits so once again let's say that is equal to q1 q0 so here for the input x and the present state q1 and q0 we have total eight different possibilities and from the state diagram we can easily find the next state and the corresponding output so once again if you see over here then for the state 0 0 when the input is equal to 0 then the circuit will remain in the same state that means if we see the next state then that will be equal to 0 0 and in that case this output is equal to 1 that means in this column we will write 1 similarly currently if the circuit is in the 0 1 state and the input is equal to 1 then the circuit will remain in the same state and in that case its output will remain 0 so basically here we are talking about this condition so in this way from the state diagram we can easily write the state table now if you see the Moore machines then in the Moore machines the output y only depends on the present states of the memory element that means as the state of the circuit changes then the output of the circuit will also change so in a way in a Moore machines this output is synchronized with the clock signals because at the every age of the clock signal the state of the circuit will change and with the change in the state the output of the circuit will also change but in the milli machines as you know the output of the circuit also depends on the present inputs that means during the clock cycle if the input of the circuit changes then the output of the circuit will also change for example for the given milli machine if the present state is equal to 0 0 then with the change in the input this is how the output of the circuit will change so as you can see during the clock cycle if the input changes then the output of the circuit will also change so in a way in the milli machines we also need to synchronize the input with the clock signal so typically in the milli machines the input is synchronized with the inactive age of the clock signal so in this case as you can see the input is synchronized at the falling age of the clock signal so by doing so the input to this flip-flops will also get stabilized just before the next clock age and in this milli machines the output of the circuit is sampled just before the next clock age so for example if you see this clock cycle then in this clock cycle the output of the circuit will be sampled just before the next clock age so that is the basic difference between the milli machines and the Moore machines so i hope in this video you understood what is finite state machine and what is milli machine and the Moore machines and i hope you also understood how we can represent the any sequential circuit using the state diagram and the state table so in the next video we will see that from the given sequential circuit how to draw its state diagram so if you have any question or suggestion then do let me know here in the comment section below if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos